had some neat experiences while I was over there. It was all not bad. Mm -hmm. I remember a special Christmas. My outfit had pulled back from the front to get new men and supplies. And my company commander told me, I says, uh, Lot, get a squad of men and go down to a landfill about two miles back behind the line. And they dumped surplus military equipment in there, torn up, destroyed. And uh, I took a crew of people, and we went down there and dumped the stuff over in this big trench, trench about 100 foot long and about eight, nine foot deep and about 20 foot wide, where different outfits would dump stuff over, and kind of like a garbage dump, mm -hmm. only it was used military equipment. And I looked down in there, and I saw some boxes and kids in them but anyway uh, there was three girls and four boys and one boy had his little brother on his in a gunny sack on his back and uh, every time anybody would dump anything over in there uh, they would scramble out of them boxes uh, to see if it was a cracker or a piece of orange or something to eat and uh, but all of the men with me said, Sars, tomorrow's Christmas. I said, get them kids out of there. And he got them out. They had rags around their feet. I guess the oldest girl was about 11. And we put them in the trucks and took them back to camp. They said, you can't do this. I said, well, we are. And I went and told the country commander. He said, well, you're not supposed to do that. Uh, but we've got, we've got a call. We've got to move out tomorrow afternoon. So they can stay the night, but you've got to take them back. Well, we decided we'd have Christmas for them. And we'd begin to get packages from home, cookies and different things. And uh, one, one guy found a little branch, and we pinned it up against the uh, tent, and we put little ornaments on it that come with these packages from home. These little kids were just big eyed, you know. And uh, we went down to the supply and got some sleeping bags for them, dirt floor in this tent. And uh, we fed them. I got word out to the company that bringing their surplus food down here. And uh, we had little presents we'd give them, you know, but. They were just looking at us and didn't know what to think. Mm. We got a heater and put in there and got them warmed up. And uh, one of my guys said, you know, it's not Christmas. I said, tomorrow's Christmas. I said, not right. It, it don't seem like Christmas. We don't sing songs. Mm. So we started singing songs, Joy to the World, mm -hmm. you know, others. Thinking about home. Mm -hmm. And those little old kids were just big-eyed looking at us, you know. <laughs> when we got through singing, they started singing in Korea. Really? They had no idea what they were saying. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, they probably didn't know what you were singing either, huh? <laughs> no, it didn't. Anyway, they got a good night's sleep, and the next morning I had to take them back and dump them out in that dump. Mm. That was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Mm. And I don't know what happened to them later. But anyway... War was over, and I came home on the ship, same ship that I went over on, and I noticed I pulled into the dock at San Francisco. There was this little shack, and these gray ladies were going in and out, giving coffee. And this little lady that had the bun haircut and the granny glasses, I saw her. And I walked up to her, and I said, Ma'am, do you remember me? She said, I remember all my boys. Oh. And I began to kind of cry. Mm. She said, you're home now, soldier. And uh, anyway, I came back to my wow. wife. 